Hey guys, how's it going? Alex K here. Welcome to Sub Tokyo. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video than usual. Uh, I'm actually checking out a train station that's going to be going under certain changes, and well, you'll see what I mean. So let's go check it out. Trains. So where I'm at now, I'm at the Shibuya station of the Tokyo Toyoko line. And um, what's happening is the Toyoko line is going to be connected with uh, another line. Uh, there's a little thing here that explains it. This is the Toyoko line as it is right now. It's going to be connected with the Fukutoshin line, which goes all the way to Ikebukuro and um, Kawagoe and other places directly. Um, so what's going to happen is this Toyoko line uh, station area, this area is going to be gone and these trains behind me are actually going to be going underground uh, to where I believe the Fukutoshin line is currently at. That's a pretty big change and this is actually one of my uh, more frequent stations that I pass through. So everybody meet Norurun. I believe this is the mascot for the, I guess, new Toyoko line, maybe. And up here there's a countdown timer uh, saying there's 23 days left before the um, two lines are connected. Uh, I guess which also means 23 days until they close down this area. Uh, I can't believe it's already 23 days. I actually remember seeing this being at like 150 some days, like uh, sometime last year when it started or when they first put this up. And they have a little pretty cool TV here which shows like old Shibuya. Wow, that is this area, but very old. Here's that map of the train line again, so I'll just explain um, what's happening once again. Um, so the Toyoko line as it is right now goes from Motomachi Chukagai or Chinatown all the way to Yokohama. And then from there, well that's the Minato Mirai line, which connects to the Toyoko line which goes from Yokohama all the way to Shibuya. I live in between here, so that's really convenient for me. Um, but then, now it's going to be connected to the uh, Kutoshin line. So, which means I can actually take one line all the way to Shibuya and one line all the way to Ikebukuro and further on if I wanted to. So, it's going to be really, really convenient for a lot of people um, since they won't have to change at Shibuya anymore. Right now, they're handing out these um, user guidebooks for the new line um, showing what changes are going to be taking place. Uh, so, here it is. You can see the one, two, three, four, five different lines now all connected. Uh, I guess fusing into one line and um, the next page actually shows um, what's gonna happen to this area. As it is right now, um, the, these platforms are actually elevated and above ground. Um, I'll show you later but uh, as you can see the red line is now gonna be going underground from March 16th and um, I guess joining the other lines that it's gonna be connected to. There's other information in this book. Pretty handy. Okay, so as I said, um, this is the platform as it is right now. You can see that um, you can actually get the view of the bus stops over there. 
um, it's a pretty nice view of Shibuya from up here uh, and I actually enjoy it so I'm gonna be missing this um, but yeah so this train you see here it's um, one of the 9000 series which um, I've seen signs that this one is actually going to retire soon and be um, replaced with the ones over there and the ones I showed earlier yeah so I'm gonna snap a couple pictures of this Interesting, because uh, they have this sign saying um, if you're going to take pictures, do not use flash, do not use a tripod, etc. Um, for all the people that are actually taking pictures right now of the station and the trains that are going to retire soon. Yep. That time of the day now, rush hour. Everyone's going home. This is the Toyoko Line Shibuya Station main entrance. Changing March 16th. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope I didn't bore you guys. Um, I just really wanted to take this video because basically this area in a couple of weeks is going to be history itself. And um, yeah, this area is going to be gone. So I thought I should document it in some way. And you know, I'm a vlogger, so I did that in a video and photo format. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm not. I've never actually been much of a train person, but you know, coming here, I've learned to ride the trains frequently because that's my main source of transportation. And yeah, much appreciation to these trains um, for the last couple of years I've lived in Japan and from here on out as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit subscribe, leave comments and suggestions below. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Subtokyo Vlog and on Google Plus. And check out the blog, subtokyo.blogspot.com, for the pictures I took today at this station. Uh, so long, Shibuya. Um, well, this area of it, and at least. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.